wake up. Something has happened. The spirit of fire is in a situation I could not anticipate. I'm certain Professor Anders would enjoy that little admission. So let's keep it between us, shall we? We've been adrift for just over 28 years. I've made quite a few repairs while you were sleeping. So ship systems are 100%. Cryo worked well, and med stats on all remaining crew are green. As for me, well... Regulations are clear about final dispensation at the end of an AI's seven-year lifespan. I took care of my own arrangements rather than wake you. I didn't want to... Well, I hope you can forgive this final breach of protocol. It was a pleasure and an honor to serve with you, sir. Do look after everyone for me, would you? Goodbye, Captain. Serena out. I'll need to get down there. Immediately, of course. Good morning to you, too, Professor. I'm sorry, Captain. It's good to see you, too. But just look at it. What is it? And where are we? Uh, no idea. Our yeah. astro-navigation system can't pinpoint a location. We're not on the map anymore. <laughs> We didn't drift out of the galaxy in 28 years, Professor. Since records show we arrived via slip space less than an hour ago. Our slip space drive is gone. However we got here, it wasn't us who initiated the trip. Something down there... ...must have opened the portal from this end and pulled us in. Signal to my location, Lieutenant. Let's hear what they have to say. I'm sorry, I can't play it for you, sir. The message has an encryption scheme we haven't seen before. Security measures would advance without us. But it is coming through on a UNSC frequency. This is good. When we left, the war wasn't going well. The signal means the UNSC is still fighting, or maybe we even won. What's the source of the transmission? We don't have the surface details yet, sir. Something down there is blocking our scans, and without Serena... But we do have a rough location. Should be simple enough to triangulate once we pick up the signal from the ground. Cutter to Jerome. Reporting, Captain. Prep Spartan Red Team and a small recon squad. Professor Anders will send you the coordinates. Find out who's sending that signal. Be on the ground within the hour. Travel light. Rather than yet. Recon only. 28 years, Professor. Let's see what kind of galaxy we woke up to. Professor Anders. Any update on the source of that signal? It wasn't easy, but I've narrowed it down to a small sector and our recon teams are investigating now. I've cleared up the scans a bit and it looks like there's a UNSC outpost or research station, but it's heavily damaged. It doesn't look good, but the Spartans will handle it. They always do. It would be a lot faster if you let me go down with them, Captain. Without Serena here, I need you on the ship, Professor. Besides, we don't know what's waiting for us down there. Jerome. Get Red Team to the Professor's coordinates, ASAP. I want you to make first contact with whoever's sending that signal. Understood, sir. We'll find them. 
Spirit of Fire Actual. I'm approaching the drop zone with Red Team. Stand by for drop, Red Team. Looking forward to shaking off some cobwebs, sir. <sighs> Feels good to have our feet back on real ground again, doesn't it, Alice? You saw this place in the drop down, Douglas. Nothing real about it. Alice is right. We don't know what's waiting for us down there. Keep your eyes out for trouble. 092, ready to go. Spartan, moving out. I'm there. On the move. On my way. Getting going. Moving to position. Recon 1 reporting, sir. We set up charges to clear a path for you when you're ready. I don't know what they were defending against, but there's some heavy-duty barricades here. Everybody get clear! Light up those charges, Alice. It won't be a problem. That's gonna hurt them! I'm there, sir! Make my way. On the way. Jerome. These aren't military defenses. No. These were made in a hurry. They must have been desperate. Why would they have defenses? They must have expected to be a target for the Covenant. Moving to position. I'm there. Hold on. Jump up ahead. Get it going. Oh, I missed this! These are research buildings, no defenses. The people here weren't soldiers. They were scientists. I see plasma burns. Lots of them. Looks like Covenant work. Make my way. On my way. On the move. Moving out. Spartan, moving out. Moving to position. Nightingale doing here. Do we have wounded? Smart, moving out. On the way. Make my way. I'm there. On my way. On the move. It's one of our recon teams, sir. We found them like this when we arrived. Didn't see what hit him. Looks like we may see some action after all. Get it going. On my way. On the way. Make my way. Moving to position. On the move. Jerome, our recon team scouted out this portal that will take you down to that signal. I've ordered the rest of our forces to stay back and protect your exit while you investigate. I'm there. Yes, sir. Spartan, moving out. Getting going. Professor, we found some more portals. But there's something strange about them. Odd. They look like they've been modified. And those machines attached to them aren't UNSC tech. Keep an eye out for any more of them. Moving to position. Making my... Henry Lamb Research Outpost. Spirit of Fire, we're outside. Base looks clear from out here. Let's see who's been calling. Here. Identify. Isabel, UNSC Logistics, Arc Research Outpost. Isabel, where are the survivors? What's the strength of the Covenant force here? Covenant? No, why would... Listen, you're in incredible danger. Oh, no. What was that? It's him. You're coming with us.
Danger close. On our location. Trailing north. Commence five seconds. Interesting flag! Understood. Archer missiles inbound. for Douglas, Jerome. I want a full report from you and that AI as soon as you get back to the Spirit of Fire. Alice is MIA. She'll stay silent down there until she has a good shot at getting back to us. Sir? Isabel, this is Captain Cutter. I know who you are. James Cutter. Captain of the Spirit of Fire. You're supposed to be lost with all hands. Not so lost, it seems. What happened down there? I need to know what we're up against. Isabel? Isabel, report. <laughs> Sir. Five months ago, the portal from the Ark to Earth shut down without warning. A month later, he arrived. He? The brute. Their leader. His name is Atriox. 
During the war, the Covenant used his clan as expendable muscle. Told them dying in battle would speed their holy journey. Forty at a time, they carelessly sent them in. Forty to break the front lines. Forty to die for beliefs not their own. None never returned. Until he did. And so battle by battle, war by war, 39 brothers at a time, Atriox was born. With every victory, his legend and his hatred of the Covenant grew. Eventually, both were impossible to conceal. And they tried to banish him. And everything we know about the Covenant's thousand-year history. Atriox was the first to defy the Covenant and survive. And his defiance inspired others. across the galaxy, growing in strength with each attack, gathering killers and mercenaries to his side. The Covenant had two targets in those years, humanity and Atriox. They almost got us, but Atriox, they never came close. The whole damn Covenant couldn't contain him at the height of their power. That's what you're up against. And all you've got is one old ship and half a crew to staff her? We need to run as far and as fast as we can. We are just one ship. And an old one at that. But here we are. 30 years past what anyone could ask of us. Our war is gone. The lives we had are gone. The worlds we knew have moved on. And now, all that we may have left are those standing beside us. And the duty that defines us, battle after battle, fighting side by side, together. Where you see half a crew, Isabel, I see family, courage, and a thousand heroes who swore to fight their way through hell before they'd ever, ever turn their backs and run. And where you see one old ship, I see home. And that is always worth fighting for. <laughs> Stop Atriox now. We leave the galaxy at the mercy of a monster. So no, Isabel. We won't be running anywhere today. Sir, yes, sir. Captain, I appreciate a good rousing speech as much as the next AI, but Atriox has had months to set up his forces on the Ark. 
even if we could find him, attacking him head on would be suicide. That's why we have to fight smart by hitting Atriox's chain of command first. Isabel, you know the Banished and their operations here. Where do we start? Decimus. He's one of Atriox's chief lieutenants and the one who led the attack on my outpost. He oversees a Banished salvage operation near the outpost. We need to hit the Banished with a surprise attack to put them on their back foot, then move south and establish an HQ. Once we have a base, we can begin our attack on Decimus. Captain, Isabel said the portal her outpost was using to contact Earth closed without warning. Once we start this fight, we have no way of calling for help if we need it. That's what you'll be working on, Professor. I need you to find us a way to get word back home. In the meantime, it's up to us to hold the line here. Let's show them what the spirit of fire can do.